Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important question that I received always and that is how to become a wildlife photographer. We have received this question a couple of times when I earlier uploaded a video regarding zoology career in India and people ask like with zoology career, with the uh, love for the wild and the creatures in the wild, how can we become a conservation biologist and moreover a National Geographic photographer or a photographer of any channels like National Geographic, Discovery or any other government uh, institutes as well. So well in this video I am going to give you an answer to how you can prepare yourself to become a wildlife photographer and also to apply to different institutes to as a wildlife photographer and continue your career as a wildlife photographer in India as well as the wildlife photographer in abroad. So stay tuned and watch the video. All right, so the very first thing that I want to mention is that when you decide that you want to go for wildlife photography, generally people speak from a point of view of their heart, not the point of view of their brain. Because when you see things, you know, in National Geographic in Discovery, from the childhood days, we get really hooked to it, right? How this whole world is working, how the animal world is working, how uh, we are seeing ruthlessness in the, in the wild, also beauty uh, that we can see, the wild beauty that we can see. Uh, it excites us so much that we want to be that. So once you are now following PCB, Physics, Chemistry, Biology in plus two, after that, that is the perfect time that you decide whether you want to become a wildlife photographer or wildlife conservationist, because that is even more important than to be just a photographer of wildlife creatures. So wildlife photography is not just about photography. It contains two different parts. One is obviously the photography part. You need to be very good at taking photos, but that's not it. In fact, the photography is only 30% of the career of a wildlife photographer. The maximum percentage will be the biologists and the conservation biologists. Basically, your love for the animal and the animal kingdom, the plant and the plant kingdom. An important role that you, you, you will play here is to connect general audience with that of the wild because general audience are detached from the wild. We don't go to the wild. We don't know much about the wild and the wild animals and plants. So your job here is to bring the footage to these unknown people so that they get to know about the animal world and plant world the way they could have never been, right? So that is your job. You take a very important job not to just take a picture. If you take wrong images from wrong angles, that's going to give a different expression. That is going to be a different impression of the event that's going on in people's mind. So your job there will be as a photographer 30% as I mentioned and rest will be as a biological conservationist. For that obviously you need to have a biology background. So obviously biology background is recommended. But yes, you will find some uh, wildlife photographers in the world. They may not be biologists. They may be geologists. They may be any uh, coming from agricultural background or any other background than the biological background. But biological background will definitely help you. It will give you the benefit of understanding the process very clearly. So after PCB, you can go with the zoology graduation and then you can move to postgraduate diploma in advanced photography and postgraduate post -graduate diploma in uh, the wildlife photography. So where do you train about the wildlife photography? There are photography institutes available all across India. There are different places. There are private institutes, government funded institutes. I'll give you some name of the institutes later on. But among those institutes, what you need to understand is wildlife photography. Now you can learn basic photography first, then advanced photography, then wildlife photography. Or you can directly go with a wildlife photography course from the beginning or wildlife photography certificate course that will be of one year or two years sometimes. So after graduation, it's not recommended to uh, go for a master's uh, course. Definitely go for wildlife photography course. Postgraduate diploma of wildlife photography, you can do that. Or you can start with basic photography course, then advanced photography course, then go to the wildlife photography course. That will give you enough experience of the photography hands-on training then you can appear into the wildlife photography career quite easily. Now it's very important point that is what it takes to become a successful wildlife photographer. You know there are many people may uh, enter into this field but may not stay there for a while. The reason behind it is that wildlife photographer to become a wildlife photographer you need to be very fit 
physically very fit mentally very strong and also why I'm told that mentally very strong because you need to operate a camera with law large long larger lenses and with adverse climates and environmental conditions in adverse locations uh, you, you may be living without food sometimes without water sometimes without sleep and so many things and particularly in to become a good wildlife photographer what is the single thing that you need can you answer most of you may think to good photography skill no what you need is patience patience is the most important skill set that you are going to develop as a wildlife photographer because there will be months or even five four six months to even capture a good shot of what you want what you desire that will take that will taste your patience and many of the newcomers on the field quit at this time being so that is what is really important because good photos good shots good captures take time and good captures can put you through immense physical and mental trauma i'm not going to scare you but that's the reality i am not a part of the wildlife photography anywhere anyhow related what i can tell is that from the existing people who are doing photography from that point of view i got to know about these experiences that's what i shared with you what is the salary range that you can expect as a wildlife photographer in india basically the salary will start from 3 lakh to 4 lakh per annum it's very low at the very beginning but slowly with experience you will get good salary now the photography particularly the wildlife photography career in india is not limited to one particular work you can act as a freelance photographer you can sell your own photos to photo stock uh, companies uh, and based on which you can earn some extra income with this time ago so what are the employment agencies that are available what are the employment options that are available some examples let me share with you that can be freelancing you can be a freelance uh, wildlife photographer you can click the images and you can sh uh, you can uh, sell it to the stock companies or you can be a part of wildlife ngos or you can be a part of wildlife channels like national geographic discovery you can be uh, working as a wildlife photographer under publishing houses for publishing magazines and publishing uh, publishing research articles and projects and magazines and books uh, so where you can put your own images out there now the final question is that can we make a good living out of the uh, out of this particular career of a wildlife photographer the answer is of course why not wildlife photography you know if you want to come into the wildlife photography uh, career then obviously you need to make few things in your mind that you will not stay at one place for long duration right your work will be surrounding the globe you may need to travel from one place to the other very often 365 days you will be in trouble you will be out of your home that thing second thing is that you don't know about a perfect fit routine so this career is not for someone who decided to have a fixed routine a balanced life no this will be a challenging life because the wild is unpredictable so as your career will be of course the salary you'll get from the agencies and as a freelancer will vary will be fixed the salary if you get a permanent position from your company will be fixed but the salary as a freelancer will vary depending upon how much photos you sell what quality of the photo you sell and the bid prices but you can get a handsome salary out of it once you're established at a, as a good photographer because there are some great companies out there surrounding the globe who can hire you as a wildlife photographer and one of such is the national geographic because that's what i saw uh, very eagerness to all the students out there from zoology field that how to become a photographer of national geographic no there is no straight cut answer to that it will take time it will take a lot of hard work a lot of pain but finally once you reach there it is 100% worth it because there you will be getting the chance to work with some of the greatest wildlife photographers of the world and you will be placed in some of the greatest uh visuals of the world which you can uh, experience nobody else can right so think it like this way and what are the different uh, agencies out there who can offer you bbc wildlife magazine wwf wild wildlife fund uh, foundation of india wildlife trust of india national geographic channel discovery channel epsilon system solutions lonely planet magazine are some of some, are some of the examples and some camera companies and lens companies also uh arrange this kind of programs institutes offering courses in photography and their location uh, this is taken from uh, the career 360 so you can also get to know about the details about the career options uh, you can also get to know about the details of the career option of uh, national geographic career option as a photographer wildlife photographer from career360.com as well 
so uh, the D delhi college of photography new delhi second one is light and life academy it's a very good one in uti jawarlal nehru architecture and fine arts university hyderabad aj kidwai mass communication center new delhi asian academy of film and television noida osmania university hyderabad national institute of design ahmedabad sir j g g j j institute of applied arts mumbai national institute of photography mumbai institute indian institute of digital art and animation kolkata so uh, almost in all major cities have one uh, such uh, photography institutes new delhi having quite few new delhi 1 to noida and then hyderabad there are two institutes we've talked about uti uh, one and ahmedabad one mumbai two and kolkata one these are the ten institutes that you can appear and there are also plenty of institutes available right now uh, government government undertaking and private institutes are out there make sure that the institute is offering proper internship programs or placement services before joining them how to start the career as a wildlife photographer the best thing is that to start as an internship program as a wildlife photographer basically this is the amateur line the photography that's why in this uh, line there is no proper fixed way that you can move from one step to the other to get into the uh, desired position no you need to start with uh, some sort of you know uh, internship okay or bridge courses the internships will help you to gain experience and as you gain new experience as you build new contacts that contacts will help you to get the next job that's how you can proceed and for that reason you can continue with this kind of bridge courses you can continue with this kind of uh, all this uh, internship programs and the internships will pay you very less at the very beginning let's say 15000 16000 rupees per month but you'll understand many things you'll learn so many new things and try to learn as many thing as possible try to build contact as much as possible so that that will be beneficial while you go to the next step of your career so that is all about the wildlife photographer career if you want to become wildlife photographer keep all these things in your mind photography is 30% 70% is simple pure patience without patience you cannot win in the career of wildlife photography mark my word but all the very best if you want to choose wildlife photography as a career choice in your life okay so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye